Hi and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I make scrunchies and hair bows. And I also sell a couple of hair accessories. And I've been doing that for eight years now. But today's video is packaging up my orders from my eighth birthday launch. I launched new XL scrunchies, a few new regular scrunchies, and I launched my merch. <laughs> so I have a heap of stuff to package up today. I think there's definitely more than 50 orders. There may be... 60 or 65 maybe 70. I'll show you what I've done so far. Uh, if you haven't already go check out the preparation for my eighth birthday because that sort of explains it but I have my stickers which are handmade, washing instructions which are going to go on all the tees and jumpers. I did all these last night so these are all my orders. I've already covered all of the addresses, doesn't matter which angle I do the camera from. My YouTube channel feature, so I usually put that, stick that on the boxes somewhere so people can scan the QR code and go straight to my channel. Uh, my scrunchie stand sticker thing, uh, that just like is like instructions on how to put them together. My stickers, so I use these to put them on my boxes. I already had a heap of my other stickers though in here. I already had a heap of those. So that's like my packaging station thing. I also printed these off. So that's really just for that one here because it's like a die and a dyed jumper so that could run in the wash so I just wanted to make sure people knew about that. Um, so these are the merch, so I put this table here because I need more space, but these are the merch purchases so all the tees and stuff and over here I have my little hair ties, some little clips, some other clips, some stickers, a few stickers sold and then I have all my scrunchies that I made. I need to sort them out though because at the moment like they look like that. <laughs> They haven't been fluffed out yet and I need to just double check them that they don't have any strings around there. I just need to sort them out into a range so I can see everything that's in the box. I also have my scrunchie stands wherever the um, DIY packs, my bows that I made. There's a couple of the pom-pom bows purchased and they're super cute. I need to put the uh, clips on the back but I probably won't do that until they're um, on their way to get packaged up. Um, now I've got a few face masks as well. So yeah, there's so much to pack up today. I have three boxes in here now. I'll probably need it. But yeah, that's what's going on at the moment. I'm hoping to get them all out today. But in saying that, I have a lot of labels to print, shipping labels. And although it doesn't take me that long, I still need at least an hour just to print them, put all the information in. I'll probably get them all done today, but it's just whether I'll get them to the post office by five. I don't think so. I'm going to get started. My first point of call is organizing those scrunchie boxes. And then I'm going to start putting all my orders on these. They are just lids from my tubs. Um, yeah, I just stack everything on. So it makes it easier for me. I can just grab it. Uh, I probably will need more lids though because if any of them have any of the jumpers, I'm going to just do like one lid per jumper, like per order, jump jumper order. If that makes sense. Okay, let's do this. Oh yes, and the satchels. So I usually pack in boxes, but because the jumpers are jumpers, they're going to go in satchels. Now, I have three different types, so I thought I'd explain them just in case you're watching and you have ordered and you're wondering what they what you can do with them. This one I got from the Sunshine Packaging Co. They gifted these ones to me. These ones can actually be recycled, but they have to go in soft plastics bin or if you go to Coles or Woolies, they have like bins at the front where they put I'm pretty sure they put your bags in there, like um your 15 cent bags in there. They can go in there. And then we have the no issue ones, which I think I had one that was hanging out. I really want to take them all out. I think they're already all falling out anyway. Ah, so chaotic. So these ones can go on the compost. But these ones actually say how you can do it anyway. I've never really used satchels before. Only when I accidentally ran out of boxes. But then found out I actually had more boxes. I was just hiding. But anyway. So yeah, these will be different for me. Uh, the reason I don't use satchels for my scrunchies is because I like them arriving like plush <laughs> which is also why i'm trying to like steer away from the envelope shipping because envelope shipping just squishes them down yeah putting them in boxes that don't end up squished when they arrive and like hair claws can't go on satchels anyway um bows would get crushed 
that I just move around too much. So that's why I don't use the satchels. I just like boxes. I just much prefer it for the apparel. I'm going to use that. I actually am now thinking, I don't know if I have big enough tissue paper for these jumpers. I don't know. But we're going to find out, I guess. This is everything out to pack today. This is what I meant when I was putting on scrunchies like this so I can see everything. It just makes it easier for me to pick them. They're just like the old bods. Um, I've also got like my scrunchie stands. I was taking a photo. These aren't in order at all, but they are in like express first, tracked next, that sort of thing. So I will start. Side note, how pretty are these two? Okay, this is the start. package these ones. <laughs> washi tape on either end so it doesn't fall out and it's kind of kept it down pretty well so um, the reason I'm putting in protective packaging like this is because it's acrylic it will snap if I just chuck it in a bag I'm hoping it doesn't snap 
Um, well, it's in one of these bags. I can't really bend it too much, but we'll see. I don't like putting scrunchies in these bags, but oh well. Ah, oh, I better like wrap these. Maybe. Do I wrap them? Do I wrap them? Do I not? I'm really conflicted now. I don't know what I'm doing. I have a certain way of doing things and when I add different shapes, new products, it's just like a mess until I get the hang of what I'm doing. Should be okay. Is this even going to fit in one of those big ones? <laughs> Maybe. This ain't going to be big enough. You have to bear with me while I figure out how I'm going to it's especially because they're so chunky. Ooh, I can use my washi tape for this. Pretty. a bigger bag. Ah! These bags rip so easily, what the heck? What the heck? Okay. Okay, someone's doing the exact same thing. Broken everywhere. I wonder if that's because they're starting to decompose. Decompose? <laughs> they're starting to um, compose, whatever you call it, like break down because they can be in the compost. Maybe. Okay, I think I fit them. <gasps> okay, we're in. I have to use this one because the other one's like broken. I'll use both. Ah. I need like two hands for this. Three hands, I mean. Hopefully I didn't forget anything for that one. <laughs> I'm putting my label on. As you can tell, I don't really use these ones. Nice. <laughs> I'm just going to tape it to this. Oh, I haven't been putting those in. YouTube features. I'm gonna fit in this one. I might fit in this one. 
that ain't gonna stay up there, but <laughs> I don't know where to put things. <laughs> Oh, I didn't realise. It actually has um, sunshine packaging code there too. That's so cool. on. Did I put the tag on the last ones? I think I did. Maybe, at least on the jumper I did. I may not have done the T. Sorry. Shut that in. <laughs> I think I should use two pieces of tissue paper, maybe, I think it might make it look a bit nicer. <laughs> Okay, that's the express ones done. Now we're going to start on the parcel post. Just normal parcel post. <laughs> this one was my first order at 8.02. It was Sophie from April Scrunchies. And she got the entrepreneur one. Also, I'm absolutely in love with these. They match my packaging so well. I didn't even consider when I, when I picked this colour that they would go with my pink. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. So that's, that's a bonus.
Oh, this is Gemma's order. Um, Gemma from Gemma's Crafty Things on Facebook and Instagram. Okay, so that's the first slot. Um, I've got a heap of these now, again, so I'm gonna try and put the rest on, I guess. See how many I can get. I've already filled up two full boxes with just these ones alone. <laughs> so I don't know, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need another box or something. I'm gonna turn my camera off for a bit though because it's really, really hot and I've been filming for a few hours now. So yeah, I'm gonna turn it off and I'm just going to sort everything out off camera okay so these are my new piles um these are all the parcel posts technically this one and this one actually aren't meant to go on a parcel because like, the customer paid for envelope shipping without even any tracking but these things are too big so they have to go in a parcel unfortunately so i've changed that on my website now to make the tall ones uh, automatically have to pay for a parcel post um now with these they can go in just like the normal size like envelopes they're fine um one of them was a free postage as well so i'm barely making any money on it and i'm very glad that she didn't order a tall one instead of a short one because yeah, at least the short one can go in an envelope but yeah she didn't get she didn't get charged for any postage um that was my fault because i didn't um put it in the right postage thing okay internationals it's going to be interesting to see how much these are going to be because over 250 grams, it jumps like quite a bit uh, for international. Although I think I've, with all my discounts and stuff for OzPost, I think I should be okay. Uh, they're tracked envelopes over that way and these are no tracking envelopes. I feel like this one that's sitting here, I might put it in a parcel just because it has velvets and velvets are so annoying to try and put in envelopes because they're just way too thick. Okay, now over here. So you might be thinking, whoa, why is there still heaps of stuff over here? <laughs> it's because this is the first 50 orders. So I'm almost done 50 orders uh, and they get the, that free scrunchie sticker. Uh, and I also have two up here. So one is a pre-order, but she ordered like... Yeah, so she gets that one. And this one, I'm going to hold it for a sec because <laughs> I want to make her a different sort of mask. She wants one that's um, like a spotlight blue. So I'm just going to add that for free um, in hers. But yeah, I'm just holding that until I go to spotlight, hopefully tonight. And then these ones are past 50. <laughs> so they're the ones that don't have any stickers, but I'll probably throw in, I don't know, something free anyway. Uh, and that's, yeah all this stuff so there isn't that many more to do after I do these but in saying that I'm going to go eat something because I'm quite hungry now <laughs> I didn't eat breakfast or anything it's currently 12 o'clock um will I make them like go out today I don't know I think if I package them all before two o'clock I'll have a very good chance of posting them all today because I also want to take photos of them um and like yeah I think I'm going to need more of these though because that's full. That one's overflowing by heaps and yeah, that one's empty at the moment but that won't take long at all with all the parcels, like big parcels. Okay, anyway, enough talking. I'm going to go eat.
Well, this one's Ava's. So from Ava's Creations Australia, or just Oz, A-U-S. Okay, now on to international. <laughs> this one's Poland. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna double bag the international ones because I have zero trust in these bags. <laughs> like, I really don't trust them. Because I've been sitting there for uh, since nearly a year, actually. Yeah, probably a year. So I just don't trust them at all. And I wanna make sure this one gets there in one piece. Should be able to fit this one in one of these, though. These ones I trust a lot more because <laughs> I actually feel like they're not going to fall apart on me. I need more thank you cards. That's international done. Now on to envelopes. <laughs> Thank you. 
Last one. Okay, so I've just finished the first 50 orders and now I'm going to start working on these ones over here. There shouldn't be too many. I think there's like 10 maybe uh, that I need to do. So yeah, I'll just do this and get right into it. Almost two o'clock, so I'm actually doing pretty well for time, really. I might actually get them all out today. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, because uh, all the parcels and stuff, they're going to be a lot harder for me because I'm going to have to, like, measure them um, and, like, make sure I'm sending them the correct way. Like, yeah, the satchel size and stuff, um, which is why I can't really do anything like that prior because I need to know the sizing. And then I also have to weigh everything, but I weigh everything each time anyway, just to make sure I've got the exact correct amount. Also, I'll probably get questions about it. Why don't I print out address labels anymore um, for the envelopes? That is because, as you can see, there was like a handful of envelopes. So printing out like 60 addresses just for those envelopes just wouldn't make sense. Just time that, yeah, wouldn't make sense. Whereas before, I was only doing a couple parcels every time I had like a massive lot of orders. But now I've got mostly parcels. So yeah, that's my reasoning. Okay, I'm going to get started on these ones. I don't really have anything else to put in besides like sweets. Now. Because <laughs> I don't really have any stickers that I can just chuck in. I just remembered that these ones are United States. There's like two of them that are Etsy ones. And I don't have any stickers, I don't think, to give you guys, unfortunately. I've got fake ones, they aren't mine. You may have noticed me grabbing some scrunchies out of this <laughs> and I'm just looking for ones that are my old stock. So they're pretty much ones that don't stretch as far. But I'm running pretty low on those. 2BH, so yeah, I don't really have many left. I'm hoping that these aren't too kitty. It's hard when you don't know what age group that it is for. God, I need a nap. Okay. <laughs> so these are the envelope ones. They're done, like all ready to go. So I need to do these are all domestic parcels. That one's international and that one's express. So I'm going to have to, yeah, sit down and do all the labels now. There's going to be so many to do though. I don't know how you meant to do the satchel ones. <laughs> I don't know.
Uh, <laughs> so some of them were a lot more expensive than I thought they would be. I didn't realize, didn't really think that jumpers would weigh so much. Like some of them were fine, but then some of them were like way over, especially like if someone ordered two for like overseas, that was like three times, not three times the amount, but like three times over the 250, so about almost a kilo. Yeah, and I did have a lot of kilo parcels for Australia too, which bumped up the price so much. My 47 labels are now done. I All I have to do is print them and then I'll quickly mark them as shipped. That won't be quick, 2PH. And then I also take photos of all them when the label's on too. So yeah, a few thing, more things to do before I can actually go to the post office. I still have an hour and 20 minutes. I'm confident that I should get everything out. Absolutely chockers. Hi everyone, it's the next day. I thought I'd jump on real quick just to sort of end the vlog. Uh, I got them all shipped yesterday. I've actually already had people receive them today, which is really cool. And after I did go to the post office, I went to Spotlight, of course, and I purchased 55 meters of fabric. I won't show you them all, but I'll show you how much that is. This is one bag. That's mostly velvet, so that's why it's so thick. And here's the other. So, yeah, super happy with my haul. Um, I think it was two or three dollars a meal. So, yeah, awesome job. Um, I only went in for 20 centimeters of fabric, but I came out with 55 meters and 20 centimeters. Anyway, that's the end of this vlog. I hope you like this one. Let me know below if you saw your order getting packed. Anyway, I'm going to end this vlog now. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.